Hi, Sabrina here with another tutorial for the newborn baby beanie with the ear flaps. I'm going to be using this beautiful yarn right here called Red Heart with Love. And this is going to be the color Preturner. See that? Pruter. It's a gray color, pretty much. I don't know if it's in a different language or what, but. It's a gray color. And I'm going to be going with pink. So, to get started with this beanie, we're going to start with the gray. And we're going to be using a 3.5 millimeter hook, which is an E hook. As you see here, we're going to be using an E hook. We're going to be using crochet markers and scissors. And a tapered needle, of course, to sew in our loose ends. So to get started on this project, we are going to make a slip knot. And chain up three. We're going to join with our first chain. With a slip knot, then you chain up one. Now, we formed a circle and it's very, very hard to see. What I like to do is take my hook and dig it right in the center and it actually opens up that hole that I need. You're going to single crochet 12 times in the center. There's one single crochet, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We want to join with our first single crochet and we're going to join it with a single crochet not with a slip stitch, you want to join it with a single crochet and then you're going to get your marker and place your marker right into that stitch so you always know where your beginning and ending fat this beanie is done in a continuous round so instead of slip stitching and chaining it one, we just single crochet and circle this around. Now what we're going to do is in this same stitch we put our single crochet in, you want to put another single crochet. And in every stitch here, we're going to put two single crochets in each of the stitches. So you're just going to move to your next stitch and put two single crochets, one back in the same stitch again, pull through, wrap the yarn around and pull through. We got two single crochets in the same stitch. Let's move to the next stitch and put two single crochets. One, back in the same stitch again, and two. Next stitch, one single crochet, back in the same stitch again, and two. We're going to continue that all the way around by putting two single crochets in each of the stitches until you get to your marker. Okay, pull your marker out and we're going to single crochet into that stitch and place our marker back in. This round, all we're going to do is put one single crochet in each of the stitches. So just go to the next stitch, put one single crochet, 
next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, and continue that all the way around by putting one single crochet in each of the stitches. And the noises you hear in the back, those are my children. They're playing video games. They get really into them. So if you hear little noises, those are my kids. I'm keeping them busy while I get these tutorials out of the way. Okay, so here we are back at our marker. We're going to take our marker out and single crochet into that stitch. Place your marker back into your new stitch. And here we are our next round. Our next round we're going to go right back in that same stitch we put a single crochet in and put another single crochet. We're going to move to the next stitch and put one single crochet. The next stitch you're going to put two single crochets in the same stitch. One and two. Next stitch one single crochet. Next stitch two single crochets in the same stitch. Next stitch one single crochet. Next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. Excuse me, I got that hooked in the wrong stitch. There we go. Next stitch, one single crochet. Next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. Next stitch, one single crochet. Next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. And we're repeating that same pattern over and over again. One single crochet in the next two single crochets in the next. Ooh, got tangled up in there. There we go. One single crochet in the next. Two single crochets in the next. One single crochet in the next. Two single crochets in the next. One single crochet in the next. Two single crochets in the next. One single crochet in the next. Two single crochets in the next. One single crochet in the next. Two single crochets in the next. One single crochet in the next. And we're back at our marker. We're going to take our marker out, single crochet into that stitch, and place our marker back in. This round we're just going to put one single crochet in each of the stitches. So just go to the next stitch, put one single crochet, next stitch one single crochet, next stitch one single crochet, and continue that all the way around by putting one single crochet in each of the si stitches. Yeah. And we're just single crocheting all the way around. We're back where we ended. Getting to the marker, just single crochet all the way around. Okay, we're back at the marker. You want to take your marker out, single crochet into that stitch, and place your marker back in. Single crochet in the same stitch that you put a single crochet in, making it two single crochets in the same stitch. 
Move to the next stitch, put one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. The next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. Next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. Next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch is two single crochets in the same stitch. The next stitch is one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. The next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. The next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch is two single crochets in the same stitch. The next stitch is one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch is two single crochets in the same stitch. Next stitch is one single crochet, next stitch is one single crochet, next stitch is two single crochets in the same stitch. The next stitch is one single crochet, next stitch is one single crochet. Next stitch is two single crochets in the same stitch. The next stitch is one single crochet. Next stitch, one single crochet. Next stitch is two single crochets in the same stitch. Next stitch, one single crochet, and we're back at our marker. You can take your marker out at this point. We no longer need any more increases. So all we're going to do now is single crochet all the way around. You want to go up to say your 10th row. When you get to your 10th row, stop, we're going to change color. So just go to the next stitch and put one single crochet and you're going to do that all the way around by putting one single crochet in each of the stitches and building up to your 10th row. To count your rows, this is your rows right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're on row seven right now. That's how easy. See these lines right here? These are your rows. Just count them and you know exactly where you're at. And if we're on row 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you actually want to go up to, instead of row 10, pretty much row... Mm, ...17. Yes, 17. Go up to row 17 and then stop from there. And then we'll be. I'll meet you back over here. And I'm going to continue doing my single crocheting all the way around. Okay, I've reached my 17th row. And like I said, you just count the rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. At this point, I'm just going to slip stitch my next stitch over and fasten off. Now what I'm going to do is change color and I'm going to go with pink here. Or actually I'll go with white just to make it easier. I have a mess here on my table. You're going to make a slip knot. And what you're going to do here is go back two stitches from your slip knot. So go one, two, attach this on there. There we go. Pull snug so it's tightened from the back as well. You don't want to have that really loose. And what I want you to do is 
chain up one so just chain it up right there and we're going to single crochet all the way around so just go to next stitch single crochet next stitch single crochet and we're going to single crochet all the way around lay down those loose stragglers so you can crochet right over them just like what I'm doing I have them right on top and I just crochet and have them right in the center when I'm crocheting so I just crochet right over them Okay, and you just slip stitch on the top of your next stitch, and I'm going to do that again because I went ahead of you guys. Just slip stitch, just like so, and we're just going to fasten off from there. Now you can put lines any way you want to in this beanie, up or down, any way. So if you want to have lines over here, if you want to make a stripe, you can do any of those. I'm going to go back with gray again. And I'm going to go back two stitches from the snip knot, attach my gray yarn, make an chain up one, and now I'm adjusting my loose end so I can crochet right over them, and we're going to seal and crochet all the way across. down my loose end so I can crochet right over them.
Okay, we're at the end. Slip stitch and fasten off. Now here's the size of our beanie. As you can see, it's no bigger than my palm. This is for a newborn, so it's very, very tiny. Now I'm going to add the ear flaps. Just like all my beanies, to do the ear flaps, I pretty much just lay my beanie flat down, even up the sides here. You're going to get two crochet markers. And at the end here, you want to put one on this side and one on the other. Now with the gray yarn again, we're going to make a slip knot. And at this end, we're going to go back five. One, two, three, four, and five. Actually, four. Should be five even. Let me see here. You start from the marker, okay? One, two, three, four, five. So you're going back four stitches pretty much. And you're going to attach your yarn. Chain up one. And we're going to seal crochet across here. For a total of 10. So you want to take your marker out and we're going to single crochet counting this one as one. Move to the next stitch. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Okay, turn your work around. Skip the first one, move to the second one, single crochet, all the way across. Turn your work around, skip the first one, move to the second one, single crochet all the way across. Turn your work around, skip the first one, move to the second one, single crochet all the way across. Turn your work around, skip the first one, move to the second one, single crochet all the way across. Turn your work around, skip the first one, move to the second one, single crochet all the way across. Turn your work around, skip the first one, move to the second one, single crochet all the way across. Now you're going to slip stitch and fasten off. And when I slip stitch, I pretty much like make a chain one. But what I do is I pull all the yarn through and pull tight. And that's how I do my slip stitch at the very end. So, here is one ear flap. You want to do the same thing to the other side. Go back four stitches and single crochet across to ten. And just do your increases all the way up just like we did this one. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and I'll meet you back here with my finished ear flap. Okay, I finished my ear flaps as you can see here. And we're pretty much almost done with this beanie. We're going to go around with a border now and put on our little tassels. So to do that, we're going to, I'm going to change color here. You can stay with the same color if you desire. I am going to make a slip knot. 
and I'm going to grab my hook now on the very corner of the ear flap in the beanie you want to attach your yarn so you're going to go right into that stitch and you're going to attach your yarn bring it through and chain up one you're going to single crochet all the way across so you get to the other side of the ear flap so I'm going to lay down my loose straggler and single crochet all the way over there Okay, so now I got to the end and I have one more to go that is attached to the ear flap itself. I want to get to that right corner right there. Single crochet. And now we're going to go up the rows. You can actually see your rows. Here's one, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one. In between these holes, um, holes right here are two rows in between. So make sure that's the top of that row right here and then right here this line is the row underneath so that's how I consider I'm making the rows so here I am going into this row see how we are you went to that row we're gonna go into this row single crochet and we're getting the very end of it then we're gonna go into this row which is right here where the holes are at I'm getting that very end single crochet and I'm continuing that all the way up. There's the next row. Then there's the holes again. I'm going at the very end of that. This line right here, going in the very end. Then we're back in the holes again. Then we're going to get the very top of these three stitches. See those three stitches? We're going to get the very top of that. Seal crochet in each of those stitches now we're coming across on the other side and I'm going to lay my loose straggler down and right here where the holes are at going across then I got that line next I'm getting the very end in the holes again going at the very end then we're at the line again get the very end then we're at the holes get the very end then we're at the line again then the holes again and that was the end of that side of the beanie the ear flap. Now we're going to work around and crochet in each of these stitches on the top here until we get to the other ear flap and do the same thing we did on this ear flap. So let's see I'll crochet all the way across. down my loose end so I can crochet right over them. Okay, getting that very corner of that ear flap, which is the first row. Now we're going to go up our rows. We're going to start with the line because we already went through the holes right here. So we're going to go right here, go into the line, the very end. Then we're going into the holes part, get the very end, then the line, the holes, 
there's the line again, get the very end of that. Then we're at the holes again. They're on the very top of our three stitches. See our three single crochets? We're going to go in each of those stitches. One, two, three. Now we're working on the other side. And we already got the three stitches, so we're going into the holes. Then we're going into the line. Then we're going into the holes. Then we're going into the line. That's how I verify it, because that's what I see there. They look like little holes in between. Holes. And then this is the line. And I'm back at the end here, and I want to get that very, very corner. And then we're going to slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet. And fasten off. So cut your yarn. Okay, any other loose ends you want to sew them in. And I'll do mine afterwards. We're going to do the tassels now. You want six strands about, let me see here, I got my tape measure here. So you can get the right measurement. Okay. You want it about 12 inches. Make it 13, 14 inches long just to be safe. But 12 inches is just the right amount. I'm going to be cutting mine 12 inches. So there's the 12 inches. And I'm going to cut 6 strands of white yarn and 6 strands of gray yarn at 12 inches length. So just go over there and just continue doing this until you get 6 of each. That's 1. Let me just take this yarn. It's easier. Because I already cut the 12. 2. 3. 4. 5. 6. Divided by 3. There we go. Three on that side, three on this side. Now we're going to do that with the gray yarn. I'm going to do gray here, three of them. If it doesn't get attached to my nail. One. Two and three. I'm going to cut two small pieces of gray yarn because that's what I'm going to attach my cut. Do that at the end. What we're going to do is just take it two on this side, two on this side. Now, what you're going to do is fold it in half, make sure your evens are as close as possible the very end here, you want to go in between right here, add your yarn, and attach it. Then you're going to take the gray ones, fold them in half, and put them on the other side. I think I missed one. Yes, I did. Let me do that over again. Make sure you get all of them because then you'll have a mess. 
There we go. I'm going to slide them all the way through that loop and pull snug. I'm going to pull snug on the other side too. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two from this side and two from this side and I'm going to start braiding just like so. Nice and tight. And I'm making this short because it is for a newborn and you don't want it too long because if it's too long it can hurt the baby. You don't want it to hurt the baby like strangle around the neck or something. You don't want it too long unless you're just doing it for pictures. And once you get to the end here you're just going to take a loose string like I have here and I'm just going to hold one side while this side I wrap it around over and over and over again nice and tight so those sprays won't come loose it's just like putting a rubber band on then you're going to tie the two ends together with a double tie there's one nice and tight too so that it won't get loose again and then I went a little bit over there we go. Then you just want to even it out and cut your loose ends to make sure that they're nice and even. Do the same thing to the other side and our beanie is pretty much complete. There's your newborn baby ear flat beanie. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment and subscribe below. Thank you.